Hi, I'm Tarani Pennerman, founder of the best-selling naturally curly hair care brand, Curly Belt, and host of The Tarani Show, a show where we talk about hair, a woman's crowning glory. I'm so happy that you've allowed us to be a part of your hair care journey, and I hope that you enjoy the show. Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of The Tarani Show. I know it's been a while, I'm so sorry. I've just been like really busy. So I just wanted to hop on here and talk about low porosity hair. And the five signs or five ways to tell that you have low porosity hair. So one of the like surefire ways to tell you have low porosity hair is when you get in the shower and you wet your hair. So you're in the shower and you're under the shower head and you're wetting your hair, but your hair is not absorbing the water. It's, or it's taking a long time to really get saturated with water. That's like the number one sign that you have low porosity hair. Because what happens with low porosity hair is the cuticle um, on, the, on the hair strand, it lays, flat and it causes water to not be able to easily absorb into the hair. And that's why it's taking a longer time for your hair to get wet. So what I recommend if you are seeing that it's taking a long time for your hair to get wet when you're in the shower or during wash day is to use products that will remove that buildup from your hair strand that will help your hair to you know absorb the water better and improve the overall health of your hair strands so let's get into it five characteristics of low porosity hair so products 10 number one is products tend to sit on the hair so you will use a gel or a curl cream and then you'll be like this isn't working. Like I have to use a lot of product to get my hair to be pliable or to get my curls to form. That is a telltale sign that you have low porosity hair. Also, if your hair takes uh, a long time to dry, that's also a number two sign. Uh, you know, product build up really quickly. So you'll see like product build up like on your, even on your scalp, but if you are using like a leave-in conditioner, that's the best like example that I can use. And you're detangling your hair and you just see like just gunk and gunk of product and you're not even using a lot. That's a sign that you have low porosity hair. Also the hair feels dry and it feels um, really brittle. That's another sign. And then if you are doing like a hair dye, so you'll have difficulty, like you'll have to leave the hair dye on for like maybe a little bit longer than the recommended time, which I do not, I do not recommend because the dye isn't soaking into the hair. So those are signs of low porosity hair. It's kind of like hard to manage or hard to deal with hair. And you know, you're following the instructions on the bottle or the jar and it's like, I'm not getting the results. Chances are you have low porosity hair. So what I would recommend is I would recommend a scalp and hair detox. So you want to use a detox because what it's going to do is get rid of all that buildup, hard water buildup, product buildup, and kind of like clean the, the hair strand off. So if you think about it, like when you're brushing your teeth and you have a lot of plaque buildup or like food or stains and you use a toothbrush brush and you scrub your teeth and then your teeth are clean, Think about a scalp detox is similar to that, but gentler on the hair. And we have a great one. It's called our Mask E Scalp Detox, and it's made from apricot, blueberry, and neem. So it, it's very gentle on the hair, but it removes all that hard water buildup, all the gunk, um, and just you know the the debris that causes your hair to not absorb water properly so this is how it looks and it's kind of like almost like a pink clay mask but and it smells really good and you can see like the name flakes in it so it's very rich with you know good ingredients for your hair and for your scalp and then after you use this you want to follow it up with a moisturizing shampoo 
Why you wanna use a moisturizing shampoo is you want to make sure that your hair doesn't get stripped because you have low porosity hair and you probably are suffering from buildup. So what you wanna do is you wanna use a moisturizing shampoo because it won't strip the hair. Clarifying shampoos can be a, a bit strip, a bit stripping, and especially if you have like color treated hair, if you bleached your hair, or if you have uh, you know dye, a dye on your hair. Clarifying shampoos can be a bit harsher and cause your hair to break, so you want to opt for a moisturizing shampoo. Our almond and shea butter moisturizing shampoo is a great option because a little goes a long way. It leaves your hair feeling soft, moisturized, and it allows you to detangle your curls really easily. So I hope that this was helpful to you. And if you have low porosity hair, I hope that you will follow these tips for like the ability to be able to manage your hair better.